What is the craziest doctor or hospital visit you've had to do with your kid? Well, besides birth, uh, that was pretty crazy. What throws you off more, the broken bone or the ER bill afterwards? Today, we're breaking down the cost of medical bills because, ouch. Today, we have Jenny Jackson, who's a financial representative for Guardian and Strategies for Wealth. So let's just jump right into it. Kids, there are some injuries you just cannot predict. I got stitches three times before the age of four. How can one go about saving money for stuff like that? First and foremost, I would look to your employer for what supplemental benefits they offer. Mm -hmm. You know, supplemental also means voluntary. Oh. So that means that you can pick and choose which benefits you'd like to choose from if they offer them. But they would include things like hospitalization, accident policies, short-term disability, dental, vision, even legal services. So that's something like when you start a new job, you can go to HR and sort of sit down and be like, okay, what are all of these things? Do I have all of these things? Absolutely, and I would suggest consulting a professional to help you go through what the options are. It's all about cost versus benefit. He just recently got hit in the eye with a baseball two days before picture day. Flew out of his crib and he landed directly on his head. She burned herself with a pot of coffee. My daughter got a glue stick stuck to her lip. What? <laughs> Fell off the bed and and his tooth went up his gum. On a scooter in the supermarket, it hit a shelf and cracked the head right open. There was blood everywhere and we didn't know if it was broken. The human body is disgusting. <laughs> what about like HSAs, FSAs, HDHP? They all sound kind of like settings on a television. <laughs> so an HSA is a health savings account mm -hmm. that could help pay for things like your deductibles, your co-pays, but certainly out-of-pocket expenses you might incur if your child gets sick. You can use the health savings account to pay for things that aren't even covered in your medical plan, like dental, chiropractic, acupuncture. Oh. Yes. It's and tax free and you actually get a deduction for the amount that you contribute to those accounts. A oh. federal tax deduction. Uh, and it's also something that doesn't expire, right? Correct. What's considered a high deductible? So they usually have higher deductibles than your traditional medical plans. The IRS considers at least $1,350 for an individual and $2,700 for the family. Okay. And that gets adjusted each year by the IRS. So what are the benefits of an FSA? And what does FSA stand for? I completely know what it is. I just, I just want to know if you know. A flexible spending account allows you to take a portion of your income on a pre-tax basis to set aside for unreimbursed medical expenses. So with an HSA, you can save it for later, but with an FSA, if you don't use it by the end of the year, you lose it. It's called use it or lose it. Is that what it's called? It is. Well, that's what I refer to it as. <laughs> My son got his toe cut slammed in a door. It cut the pad of his little toe off. My husband then called me up and he said, go back home before you come back to the hospital. They need you to find the piece. They want to reattach it. Put it in some ice. I was freaking out. I gave it to them. They sewed it back on. Yeah, that was a crazy visit. So let's say you don't have uh, like a fund put away. You don't have any of these HSA or FSA or anything like that. Someone in your family gets hurt. There's unexpected medical bills. Like financially, what can you do? So the first piece of advice I would give is to make sure that the bill is accurate from your insurance company. Oh. You'd be surprised how many times people will get a bill and it's not exactly accurate. In addition, I would also suggest speaking to the hospital or the doctor and see it, what type of payment plans they may have that might fit your budget. Uh -huh. um, and you'd be surprised that they may be willing to forgive some of that cost. Yeah, it's like kind of worth being the squeaky wheel almost always. It never hurts to ask. Mm -hmm. True or false, the average three-day hospital stay costs $30,000. True, if not more? I'm gonna say false. It's true! What? It's never cheap in a hospital. No. That's a salary. So what did we learn here? Look into what your employer has to offer to find out what's best for you. And that trampoline your kid keeps asking for, maybe leave that off the holiday wish list. And remember, keep your mind on your money. See you next time. I hope, please, don't get injured. I'm begging you. If you come back here with your arm in a sling, I will be mad at you.